Hey everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna be painting a scene from the movie Parasite. I just love this movie so much and first of all I feel like I need to explain why this painting is in portrait rather than in landscape which would make more sense for movie scenes but a big part of the movie is the use of physical height to represent the class divide between the two families on one end we have the rich families like the parks who physically live at a higher level than the kim family who live in a home that looks like it's kind of at basement level in the movie they are constantly having to look up to people and even when they go up to the park's house they have to climb up a lot of stairs to even get to it and the camera work displays that i think there's a lot of vertical camera movements in the movie and i wanted to really highlight that as much as i can so that's why i chose to have the paper be in portrait orientation for this painting and also one other thing about this movie is that the lines are also very widely different when it comes to where both of the families live in the park's property they're the richer family in the movie there's a lot of clean and straight lines their house looks very modern with a lot of sharp angles meanwhile where the kims live things look a little bit disjointed to the point where even their street where they live looks like it's a bit it's a bit wonky and so there is not a lot of connecting lines in this scene that i'm painting so i don't even want the road to look like it's going into a very clear straight direction except that it's going up i don't even necessarily want the houses to line up either i just wanted this whole sketch to look like it's a little bit messy so onto the painting i started different from my other gouache paintings that i would normally do for one, I watered down these initial layers with a lot more water than I would normally use, almost to the point where it's like watercolor. And usually I would just go ahead and block out the colors for each part of the painting, but this time I used one color to block out the shadowed parts of the painting, just so I have a clear idea of what the finished piece would look like in the end. Uh, the reason I used the blue is because I don't want the finished painting to have a lot of blue in the end and because I want the shadowed parts to be really dark, I'm gonna need a lot of paint and work done to cover that blue paint up. Therefore, it ensures that I work on these shadowed parts a lot more. I also added some yellows for the highlights, so the lighting feels nice and warm. My favorite part about the scene was how the shadows cut through the sunlight, so it's important that I get that right more than the details even. After that, I'm starting to lay down my base colors still. These are more what the colors would look like without much regard for how the shadows and the lighting would affect them. I'll worry about those tweaks in colors later on.
and then I'm starting to work on the details starting from the left to more I wanted to do what I've seen other people do which is fully work on one part of the painting until it's almost completely done before moving on to another part this didn't last though it felt really exhausting for me for some reason and I focused too much on the details which isn't something that I want to do so in the end I started working on other parts of the painting too and this worked out better for me because I can then look at the bigger picture the overall picture as I paint and not get too hung up on the details Usually in my paintings, I'd want the shadows to be cool colors and the light to be warm but on this one, my shadows are warm while my bright highlight is a mixture of both. I really struggled with the shadows that the building cast on the street. I wanted it to have warm colors, but I didn't want the whole thing to be one solid color. So it took a long while for me to figure out what to do with this. And then something that's really tough about gouache that I forgot to mention with my other video is that the dark colors would dry lighter and the light colors will dry darker. It's so frustrating to have established a good contrast between them, only to have them even out when they dry. And you can see that here, this is what it looks like right now, and pay attention to what the shadows under the scar looks like after it dries. So as you can see, I have to go over it again with the different colors. So. Yeah, a lot of the process for this is going back and forth, just trying to keep the values that I want. I also did something very risky with this painting. I just decided to go over the shadowed areas to the left of the umbrella with a light wash of dark, warm colors. And the reason why it's so risky is because I could have really reactivated the layers underneath that with all that water in my brush, but thankfully that didn't happen this time. I kept on redoing the shadows because these colors didn't seem right to me. The way they would look different when they're dry it didn't help either. I wanted there to be more details the closer things are to the viewer and less the farther they are away from us so, so it would look like the details are fading away into the distance.
and because I worked on the left side so much it and it looked really busy I tried to balance it out by adding texture and color to the house on the right there since it would have been dead space if, if I left it like that and this ended up being one of my favorite parts of the whole piece I really like how the color is on that wall <laughs> So far, I haven't acknowledged the umbrella that's partially covering the whole scene and it's because it's the only part of the whole painting that I was not sure about from start to finish. Not to mention, I think I completely misplaced the pole thing that ke that's keeping it up. I mean, I don't know, I feel like this painting could have gone without it. But yeah, this umbrella has some very vibrant colors in it, so every time I would put color on that, I would make sure to bring that same color down to somewhere else in the painting so it looks more cohesive. At some point, I completely redid the group of buildings farther back on the left. This way, I, it wouldn't look too busy and, and then I just added some poles in front to break apart those big shapes. Now I'm using my Posca markers to, to clean this up a little bit. I was also using it to kind of see whether it would be a good idea to use my brush pen to ink the whole painting or to just use more brush to do the detail. And in the end, I went with a brush pen because I really liked the black that I did for the umbrella and I think it would create a very nice graphic looking contrast if I did the brush pen. Alright, so I'd like to apologize to you guys. It looks like there's a big jump. I'd like, to, I'd like to explain. I finished the inking and I didn't know that my phone had died while I was recording. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of cried a little bit. <laughs> and I was contemplating whether I should just scrap the whole video. But at this point, it had been four days of me just filming this and painting this. And it would feel so bad if I didn't deliver it to you guys after I said I would. So in the end, I went over my brush strokes with more gouache to attempt to cover it up as much as I can. But you guys can see, you can see there's a lot of dark areas where there wasn't before and that's what it is. I also went over some of the colored areas with my Posca pens, so there's some nice little splashes of color here and there. I added the power lines to completely finish the whole piece.
So here's what it looks like scanned. I've noticed that my phone camera adjusts the brightness and the colors a lot so it's not always accurate but this is what it actually looks like. I did do some minor readjustments like make it more apparent that she was holding a peach or at least some kind of fruit because that is vital to this scene. And I really hope you guys are enjoying this video. Um, my next one will be just me doing some sketching while I'm answering some of you guys' questions. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again soon.